Hi guys, Matt and Danny here. And this is an unbelievable announcement, guys. But we actually are at Castle Park August 5th, 2023. Now go get the field, go. The log ride is open, guys. The wait is over, it's real. And we are gonna go ride it now. So this is a special edition here, so we can get on the log ride with y'all here for OC Coasters and Theme Parks. We just blasted some ghosts, thank you. But today's about the log ride. Oh. So, come along on this adventure with us, would you? Thank you, take care. Should the log ride still be open? All right, and you said it opened today? It opened today, officially? Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, little guy. Sorry about that. All right, guys. Well, you know where we are, and you know where we're going. And let's go get there. The follow-up to my log ride opening day, June 10th. Here it is. Short and sweet one tonight, guys. I gotta see it to believe it. Like I said, I've never been on the ride when it's actually, never been on the ride. Oh my gosh, I see water flowing. We'll let the Riverside rivers flow, my goodness. We have a log ride in Riverside, California. Wow, guys, talk about a moment. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe everything. I can't believe the splash. Jenny, it's real. With zero announcement, by accident, we came on Log Ride opening day. How lucky. Look at those dudes up there. They're like, bro, you got lucky. Whoa. Wow, guys. A little shock here. Welcome to the Sawmill Plunge. Follow instructions are for your safety and enjoyment. Wow. This looks nice. And it looks way nicer than the one that castles and posters. Oh. And they have a young lady working at the front of the, of the entrance there. The vintage arrow log plume. And a lot of parks are lucky to have one. And less of those parks have a working one. And now Castle Park is where it's at, guys. A working log plume here in Riverside, California. Wow. It's raining enthusiast tears from heaven here, guys. No, just kidding. That's a little bit of leak from the loading platform for the... Actually, that's water just dripping off of the, the first chain lift or whatever you want to call it, lift. It's open, guys. It's real. Come to Castle Park. As of the weekend of August 5th, August 6th, 2023. The log ride is open. Unbelievably. Wow. Pretty, impre pretty impressive, Jenny. And from what I hear, Jenny saw on Instagram that they got all new logs since their supposed original opening date of June 10th to the now actual date they have appeared to open the log ride. And like I said, this is great news. Happy days indeed. Oh, happy day. The log ride at Castle Park. And guys, I don't think I'm gonna POV this first ride. If they give me a second one, I will. But judging by this line, this is going to be our only ride tonight. And yeah, I definitely don't want to, you know, videotape the whole experience. So come down here and, and 
and get the experience for yourself. I'll, I'll take you along for the POV on our next evening or day at the castle. Be sure of it. And, wow. Yeah, these look pretty comfortable, pretty decent looking logs. I must say. So wow guys, thumbs up, all positives. Nothing but great things to say about this. I just can't believe it's real. Beautiful. But yeah, built originally with the park in uh, 76 or 77. Uh, this may not have opened until the later 80s, but it was part of the project, you know. At the time, Hera was alive and well, and they outsourced supplies from Hera, at the very least, thinking it's most likely, you know, had some outside developers help them out. But what a great looking drop. Now this was at one time the steepest log ride in all of California. I wonder if it still is. I know that rumor has it they had to reprofile that drop, but I don't know if they actually had to or if they just, you know, kept the same angle and had a little piece of track at the bottom. So the reveal will be there when I see it for the first time too on the ride. And guys, like I said, couldn't be more excited. Wow. You know, the first day and the last day of rides are pretty special. But to say that we were here for opening day, opening day, opening night of 2023 is a pretty special thing, huh, Jenny? Are you excited? Right, it's okay. Are you excited? Tell me how it's. Matt and Jenny here. And Jenny, how long's it been? How long's it been since you rode the log ride? Almost 10 years, if not 10 years. Wow. This will be, it's been longer than that for me because I've never been on it. It's been my whole life. But I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty ready for our first experience, guys, on this classic log flume. And like I said, other than, you know, Bud Herbert helped make this, who helped make the one at Castle Park, or Castle Park, obviously, who helped make the one at Knott's Berry Farm as well. But there aren't too many of these. You know, they do have their own charm to them, but now this is the Sawmill River Plunge. The original Castle Park log ride did close in 2019. So this essentially is a whole new ride, new name, new theme, with elements of the same ride. I mean, it's obviously most likely going to be a similar experience to before, but we're going to go through this together. So I am so excited. I love the theming of getting a western -y vibe, a pioneer feel. Um, I like the little kind of woodwork they added to the station and everything. And so far, guys, you know what? I love it when things are unplanned, and this has turned out to be a great night so far. Thank you, Jenny. They have a similar loading conveyor belt platform to the one that Splash Mountain has at Disneyland, or had, I should say, and then the one that Castles and Coasters has. These are so much easier to get in and out of the log when you're not surfing on the log. I'm, and I must say, I hope eventually uh, Knott's gets with the times and updates their log ride. Keep it OG, just add this one feature. This loading platform conveyor belt offers so much stability, especially for guests with any mobility issues. And yeah, it just lowers and starts to turn when it's ready to move the log. This design is absolutely fantastic. And this is probably one of the very expensive modifications they made to this ride, along with the new logs. That's where the five million or part of it went, not all of it, but I must say guys, fantastic to see this conveyor belt what a nice surprise and i'm sure these ride these logs are going to float and ride so smooth so this is going to wrap it up here matt jenny and the gang at oc coasters and theme parks and we are really excited for this voyage this maiden voyage on our log we're going to be like those guys a little bit like oh man this is pretty high up bro i don't know if we should do this well too late guys 
Get ready for the Sawmill River Plunge. This is going to be hopefully a really hot popular attraction here for the rest of the summer and going into Castle Dark. I certainly hope they keep this open through Castle Dark. So they're coming in pretty hot in that drop. It's a good 60 foot drop, easy. So I'm really looking forward to the speed we're gonna get on that drop, guys. Along with the station, the platform and everything. So we'll catch you a little post ride, give you our review once we ride this beast and tame our own log. So you hang tight because it's about to get a little wild and a little wet here on the sawmill plunge. Beautiful evening here at the castle on this another evening at the castle. My silence is the shock, guys. I'm in shock. It's open. It's real and it's official. And we're next. I was about to say, they almost got a bonus ride. Alright guys, rock and roll time. We're going to listen to the sign. That's going to be me and Jenny in a minute. We are going to wait here to be seen. Nice. Hey guys, Matt here, and guess what? We just started the log ride, and the conveyor belt stopped, so I don't know. Hopefully we don't have to film an episode of Coaster Talk here. But yeah, funny thing. We're, we're, our log ain't moving, but we just started this gorgeous ride down the river, and I don't mind. I'll soak it in. I'll embrace the moment. It's beautiful. Let's hope that we actually get our ride tonight, because man, what a pisser if we don't. I think there still is a couple of people in line. We weren't the last one in line. But I'm expecting this thing to pick up with a good giddy up. But yeah, what a beautiful ride design. Love the sawmill. Love the theming they've added. Very excited. Love the music. You know, really feels like not Sister Park now. And uh, great charm here. So here we are. Just enjoying this flowing water at a nice angle. And hang the heck on, guys. OC Coasters taking you on the log ride, but we're not going on it together. We'll talk to you afterwards. Well, guys, we just did our plunge, and it was absolutely amazing. So, we're going to hang up here for a sec, try not to get wet, and get the last, last splash of the night here. We're second to last splash of the night because that drop is amazing um love the ride gotta say great log ride element great log flume element um great view of everything the music up there is a great touch there's actually music up there guys matt here from mostly coasters and theme parks matt and jenny and we couldn't have loved this more this was better than... Oh yeah, better than could have been anticipated, guys. What a great ride. And I think the last log is about to go down for the big splash. Sorry. Yeah. Highly look forward to this. It's a great ride. You guys did a really good job. Yeah, I did. The music up top is a very nice touch. Um, it needs to be turned up a little bit. The freeway drowns it out. The, the, if you want, you know, 
to, to be more of the atmosphere, but I loved it. Must say, it's one of the nicest log rides in the state. You did a really nice job adding in that conveyor belt, the new logs, all the little touches. So, I certainly hope more people come check it out. Thank you. Of course. Talking with some of the management here, I'm assuming. Wanted to let them know that the log ride came out very nice indeed. So yeah, guys, it was such a treat and out of luck. We came on opening day, August uh, 5th of 2023. Oops, this way. So yeah, guys, just to reiterate, log ride was amazing. Was talking with some staff here. Very nice. Um, I kept most of the conversation off camera because I didn't have actual permission to record them. So, but the log, the log ride was amazing. Can't say enough good things about it. Come to Castle Park and get on this baby. The theming is great. Um, and it won me over. This park already had won me over and this was the cherry on top of the Sunday. This was the only thing missing and now, you know, you got two coasters, you got a log ride, you got a classic dark ride, you got a dragon ship, you got swings, you got a drop tower, you got a scrambler, you got bumper cars. You have so much here to offer, and that's not even counting all the kids' attractions and some of the other awesome attractions they have here. I know I'm missing a couple. Oh, the dragon flyers. See so yeah, ya, guys. I'm just gonna let that quiet lift hill and that log do the talking here. Maphromosi coasters and theme parks. Until the next adventure at Castle Park, you guys have a wonderful night. Hope you enjoyed this short evening at the castle and hope you enjoyed the opening day of Log Ride 2023.